Yo, what is going on guys? It's Manny and today I've got a very very special guest. He is known as the data miner of the NXB community. Basically, him and Chrome are the reasons why we even get leaks and whatnot. They do a lot of hard work behind the scenes. It is none other than Gabe. Hello YouTube and what's up Manny? Yeah, I'm doing great. So uh, yeah, today I was going to quickly cover, you know, some leaks and some speculations of the um, upcoming Shinobi. But um, before I go into all that, I just want to go a bit of a go back to a bit of a mistake. I did upload yesterday or a couple days ago, um, Toby's Jutsu. And I did make a mistake where I thought he's um, the, the gigantic fireball was the one that did damage over time. But in fact, it's the, uh, the fanned flame that does the damage over time and confusion but it's not guaranteed every time. So it's kind of like Itachi uh, version 2's Fireball Jutsu, where it's an RNG chance, which kind of makes it, I don't know, it's not as good as I thought anymore. And um, the other Jutsu only does normal down. It literally only does normal down. Like it knocks back and normal down. And I, now that I look at this kit, now it's starting to look not as insane. As well as he's counting. Yeah, it's not so... OP as we first saw. Yeah, it's 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 because of the RNG chances. That's what that's what's getting me. Like if it was guaranteed, it wouldn't be as bad. But dude, I hate how they're doing RNG chances. And um, can we yeah. the the self evasion buff and the invincibility buff? It's only like three seconds, whereas the speed buff is actually a long duration. So I mean, it's still it's still good, but I mean, it's not as good as I initially had thought it was. But I mean, it's still a it's I don't know. He still looks okay. Yeah. But just not as broken. I mean, personally, I wouldn't go for some unit with random random chances like this. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, but, like... Uh, yeah. If they change it... Yeah. Yeah, hopefully it's good. Maybe, Maybe it's not the final character that we will get in the banner. Yeah. So we don't know. Exactly. We'll go into that a bit more shortly, but uh, let's quickly cover the, the 20th anniversary what we got. Dude, these tickets. What a joke, dude. What oh my god. Joke. <laughs> oh my god, this banner is so bad, man. Bro, literally, pretty much four completely useless units. And Sakura and Naruto, they're okay, but they're still pretty outdated. Like, I don't know, man. One of the worst banners I've ever seen. Literally. Yeah, I mean, I was expecting for something really good, maybe a lot of free Shinobites and really good units on that banner. And then I saw just six characters that I already have the majority of them. That's just really, really bad, man. Yeah, I mean, as expected. To be expected of Bandai. Can never be too hopeful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, this tool... This, this Naruto's ramen bowl. Now, you did mention that Naruto's birthday is on the 10th of October, which is in, like, a couple days. So, yeah. maybe... Wow, it's really close. Yeah, so maybe this ramen bowl could be connected with, you know, Naruto. It could be his tool. How Sasuke got, you know, Indra's arrow. Naruto gets a fucking ramen bowl, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I hope this time they won't sell it because I really want it for my Okage Naruto and yeah, free to play life. Yeah, if it's if it's a oh, dude, I honestly I don't, I'm not too hopeful, dude. I think it's gonna be a pay to play tool. Oh, but hopefully, hopefully they release like maybe a mission or something that makes us unlock it, which would be definitely a lot better. But um, going off that, we did get a. Minato stat card today, which was green for Rin. Um, again, another pay to win. And no bonus. Yeah, no bonus. Another pay to win. No <laughs> bonus stat card. I mean, it's it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, who we'll buy this? Who we'll really buy green card without any bonuses? Yeah, it's dude. They're probably the worst stat cards. Like, ideally, you want yellow or red. Red is obviously the best one, and then. Yellow. Yellow is pretty. Yellow is really Yeah, hands it. down. Yeah. Red and yellow are the best. Like, they're the only ones that are actually worth your money to, to actually buy. But apart from that, I don't know, man. Um, also, this pain stat card. 
Maybe it could be a Sam stat card, or it could be, I don't know, another pay to win card. Who knows? Yeah, I'm trying to remember when was the last time that we got free uh, Sam stat card, and it was like one year ago. Yeah, I think it was the red Boruto stat card for like Christmas or New Year's. So it, was, it was only one of those lines, I think. It was definitely a year ago, though. Ages and ages ago. Yeah. But, um, All yeah. we have to do is to hope for this to be our next event gift. <laughs> we can only hope. Now, um, you did send me a picture of a bunch of different stat cards. Um, yes. Uh, they, they are classified as rare, but it's clearly not updated. I mean, they were on the files for some time, and Bandai are using them. As you see, there is Minato card here, and there is the Frog Jiraiya card that we got. So, Pain is here, and there are two Naruto cards that maybe we'll get one of them soon in his birthday. I mean, hopefully, because it, it, it's a bit weird, because as you can see, there is Danzo's card, there is Darui's card, and um, Oniki's card. They were from Sam. So, from this list, I can probably say that some of these units are going to be, like, maybe a new ninja that comes out and gets one of these cards, or some of them are just going to be, like, pay-to-win cards. But I don't know, these, these cards... Yeah, like Sasuke. Yeah, yeah, Sasuke, this one down here, this one was pay to win, this one, like, maybe another pay to win card, we don't know, but, I mean, it's in the game. Hopefully, one of the Naruto yep. cards, though, is, uh, is free on his birthday, but we'll see, we'll, we'll see. Um, now, you, uh, also sent me, um, Madara and Hiruzen's updated files so uh would you like to go into more depth about uh what you think yes so uh in the mining process every time i compare the new files of the new update uh, versus the old files from the last update just to find what files were changed or added so i won't have to go over all the files you know mm -hmm. So, last couple of weeks, I found something interesting. I keep seeing Iruzen and Madara showing up, and I didn't get why. I mean, they both had the rickets like, long time ago, and when I went over the files, I didn't see anything new, like new animations and new pictures and stuff like this. But then I found out that maybe they use them as the special mission bosses for the next two units, which will make sense. Yeah, if you see their timeline that I made, I oh, think yeah. maybe it's a speculation that Tobirama and Ashirama will be our next Shinobis, Rikits. And uh, of course, for Ashirama special mission, we will have Iruzen as the boss and for Ashirama, we will have Madara. So. Yeah, yeah. So Toby Rama versus Hiruzen, it makes sense. Hashirama obviously fighting Madara, it makes sense. Not to mention, as you said, Hashirama's birthday is on, can confirm, October the twenty third, which yeah, is roughly it fits yeah, right dude, on time. It literally just it fits. It literally fits, because obviously Sam's coming up in in a couple days, so Toby Rama, followed by Hashirama. Yeah, maybe, I mean. This isn't confirmed, but it's really it's it's very very plausible. It makes a lot of sense if this were to go, to go down. Yeah, I really hope so because personally, I really like the ok Okages, and I think they deserve new kits to be more updated. You know, yeah. In exactly. the new meta, they are not really good with their old kits. Yeah, they deserve to be OP. Yeah, and like what perfect way to bait people to summon with their Shino bites before anniversary then like the Senju yeah. bites like literally oh my god literally the perfect bait <laughs> <laughs> but, 
They save the big guns for this time, you know? Yeah, exactly. Um, now, you also so, uh, you, you, you uploaded a picture onto Reddit but that you initially thought was Kabuto's horn, but um, now yeah, that you're that's thinking, right. yeah, now you're thinking it might be Jubito's one of his scales or whatever they are that are sticking out from the from his back. Uh, I think it's one of the crystal shards that like broke apart after it transformed, as you can see in the picture. Mm. It really look like this. Uh, I don't think it will be Kabuto Orn because the Orn, as you can see, have like uh, some circular part on the bottom and it doesn't look like it. So, yeah, I really hoped to be that it will be Kabuto, but it doesn't seem the case. Yeah, so, I mean, if it is Kabuto, it could mean Edo Itachi. However, if it is Obito, it could mean um, Edo, Edo Minato, which uh, you, you yeah, put in that's the right. Yeah, and um, just a quick run through of uh, so you've sent me a lot of lot of videos of what possibly these ninjas could get. Um, do you want to go over Toby Rama first? The Toby Toby Rama is I don't know this this kit. Dude, this kit looks. Pretty insane. Yeah, it looked like a shotgun jutsu. Yeah. He, he desperately needs like some sort of uh, DPS jutsu for sure. Because right now he is Yeah, struggling. he has the mobility jutsu from his old kit. Yeah. Because if a pretty good ultimate too. I mean, this, this ultimate looks absolutely like... If he gets anything close to um this ultimate... It'll be it'll be very good because it looks like it'll be forward, large AOE, kind of like Martyr's yeah. Meteor or whatnot. And that would be pretty. Insane. Also, it's worth to mention that if Tobirama is going to be next, then this will be really good for everyone who has his old jutsu, uh, his old ultimate, because it's impact and Rin ultimate is impact, so it will be useful for Sam. Yeah. If that is the case, then Tobirama is definitely a viable option. Now, um, going into Hashirama. Dude, Hashirama is the one I'm most excited for. Because he has so much potential. He has so much potential. So, obviously on Blazing, yeah. he has... Um, he's got this kit. But to correlate that to NXB, I mean, he could stun. And his ultimate looks like it'd be whole tile AoE. I really hope so. He needs 60 seconds multi hit ultimate. I mean, yeah. If it, yeah if He's the seconds. god of Shinobi, I mean. Who else can have OP Jutsus and ultimates if not him? Yeah, exactly. Now, I think um, it might be like Madara. Like, his Susanoo was only one hit. Maybe they make Hashirama's only single hit. But. I don't know. If it's multi-hit 60 seconds, then Hashiram is going to be super, super broken. Yeah, but they can also, like, do the KLM treatment, if you know what I mean. To reduce the damage to be 100%, but just in 5 hits. So it doesn't that bad. Yeah. It's not that bad. That's true, that's true. Um, Minato as well. Casey and Minato. Um, now, I don't know, but as you said before when you previously showed me this, he doesn't look that flashy. Like, he kind of just throws a couple of Rasengan and like, I don't know, dude. Rasengan in NXP is, is notoriously known to be pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe we just got bored of it. I mean, so many units with Rasengan. Yeah. Um, finally, if Obi, I mean, it could be Obito. If Obito was fight Obito, I mean, we we'll never put it past Bandai, but he's Obito's kit. Um, he looks like he'll get a shotgun as well, maybe? And Ultimate, obviously, being just another version of Ghetto Statue. But, again... Yeah, to be honest, I put Obito on the end of the timeline, just because he's... 
uh, the only character from the first anniversary that won't get the Rikit. So I think they will give him Rikit too before the second anniversary. Just some feeling. Maybe. Yeah. Again, all this is speculation, but obviously a very educated yeah. guess. Very, very educated guess. But yeah. You know, take it with a grain of salt, but you know, it's it's definitely plausible. Now, the final thing that I want to go through is um, Rin's Sam four star. Now, you did post a nice clip or a nice gift. Oh, that might be a bit loud, <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, it looks like she puts a, I don't know, some kind of tag on the ground and just sends the uh, enemy flying backwards. Now, this could inflict confusion. And yeah, I agree. It looks like it will conflict confusion. Yeah, and we all know confusion is extremely, extremely broken because it just turns off the uh, enemy AI and they're just kind of like useless. Yeah, they're running around like chickens. Yeah. <laughs> I always find it really funny, man. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, this is this would just add to Rin's support potential and like make it infinitely better as well if it does do that. Um. Yeah, I mean, you can always replace the log on your AI. Yeah. And, I mean, Rin's... For it. Rin's log is pretty much, like, only good for maining. But... Yeah. Yeah, and also the ultimate. Um, just wanna... I'm gonna scroll up, but uh, it's just... The, um... <laughs> she kind of just punches the air with... <laughs> with the seal tag, and, like... You said that um, you don't think it's going to be a damaging ultimate. No, no, it doesn't look like it for sure. Because I didn't see anything about other characters on her file. Or about uh, Isobu. Maybe I thought at first maybe she will get Tailed Beast Bomb or something like this. But there isn't anything. It's just it. Yeah. Only the Gambate Obito pose and that's it. <laughs> Like, I think the biggest and most hopeful thinking that we can be doing is in Blazing, she does have a combo ultimate with Obito and Kakashi, but that's really, really stretching. Yeah. That's really stretching. But I've, uh, from other people, from other ninjas that got uh, combo ultimates in this game, you always can see that there are like assets on their files of the other that participate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like with Neji and Hinata. In uh, Orochimaru Rikit, I oh, saw right. the Tobirama and the Shirama oh, assets right, right. on his files yeah, before, yeah. so I knew. But on Rin case, there is absolutely nothing, so I wouldn't yeah. expect it. I would expect some buff that will like, be maybe be some mix of Shizune buff and like. Shikamaru buff and it's not that bad. I mean it could it could be pretty useful, you never know. But um yeah, I mean that's basically majority of the leaks and our speculation of what is going to be up and coming in NXB. Um like, comment and subscribe of course if you did enjoy the video and obviously give a big thank you and shout out to the guy by, you know, for joining me. Ah. Thank you, thank you everyone. <laughs> yeah, I mean like, you know, this video is definitely not possible without him. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.